if you haven't seen my safest way to travel video, you should go check that out. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, it's like, it's whatever. I mean, it's there if you want to. It's just... Do that later. Now, this shouldn't come as any news to you, but planes, they crash. Rest in peace, 717. I will you. Last year, in 2017, nobody died on one commercial flight. That's really, really good. For some reason, the tan man takes credit for this. What are you hiding? And now, I bring you the deadliest plane crashes in history. You know what? I probably shouldn't be laughing about that. YouTube is a sensitive place. Who would have thought? Now, for the sake of this video and simplicity and that I'm a simple person, just kidding, I'm not basic, I'm gonna go ahead and call 9-11 a terrorist act because it is one and not a single plane crash. So, yeah. So, with that, the deadliest plane crash in history is the ten, ten or fi, ten or fi. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce T-E-N-E-R-I-F-E? Here's what I found on- Ah! Tenerife. Oh. This accident took place in the Canary Islands off the coast of Spain. There were a total of 583 people that died. Jeez, holy crap. One foggy, foggy, foggy day. Two Boeing 747s were waiting for takeoff. The two 747s got clearance from air traffic control. Then, moments later, <laughs> people were dying, bleeding out on the runway, lying there, looking up at the sky. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It was much quicker. It was just kind of like, you know what I mean? This accident happened on March 27th, 1977. At a nearby airport, there was a terrorist threat, so most of the planes were transferred to the Tenerife airport. Uh-huh. Got it this time. I'm not even gonna try to explain how the accident happened. Just watch this. <laughs> and the 2018 Animator Awards go to... Wikipedia! <laughs> you wanna know something sad? The last words of the KLM captain was literally, Oh, shit. I'm not even kidding. Read it. Hit that button.